Yes, I'm Robin Saunders. I'm the owner of uh, Even Though DIY in the village. I've been here for 38 years, coming up this Carnival Day. I moved here on the Carnival Day in uh, 1975. I'm also a Morris dancer and various other little things I do in the village. In the old days, in the old days, um, the procession through the village and the um, the floats was the really big thing. You get lots of other people who do jobs that, in a way, they never get recognised, they're never, they're never seen, but they get, get it all set up on the Friday night down on the field and early Saturday morning. They'll sell programs, they'll marshal things, you know, and they sort of rotate that throughout the day. Lots and lots of people from the village. Um, they, they, they get involved in different ways, so you'll find some, just a family will put in a float. Um, the Hayes family put in a float for, I don't know, it's like 25 years or something, you know, an enormous amount. We just love it. My dad started off doing a float because he loved getting involved with the carnival and things like that. And we just got involved. And we, unfortunately, my dad passed away, but we'd like to carry it on. Um, while well, we're doing Cleopatra, I don't really know why. It was just an idea that we thought of. It needs to be something that we can put together relatively easily. And um, well, all the family gets involved, really. Um, we do it here at my mum's house, always have done. She doesn't actually come on the float, but she certainly helps in the background with costumes and so on. The kids all join in and Paul's family used to, they're not here this year, but they usually join in, so. But they don't have any choice, I'm afraid, you know. <laughs> kids get involved, friends get involved, whoever, you know, it's, it's a good fun. So then the, uh, what we call the pram race, um, took over in importance. And that's where a team of two, or more actually, but I think it's the, you have to have a team of two to win. They start at uh, the, well, they used to start at the Star. That's now been demolished and it's a load of houses. And then they would progress around the um, pubs, um, in one of them being pushed in the pram, the other one running, and then they would alternate doing that. And at each pub they had to drink a pint. A beer, which has now been downgraded, I believe, to half a pint, and you can have an orange juice if you wish, if you're teetotal. But that's now quite a big bit of the carnival. The organising committee, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> which uh, I was just um, anybody who's brave enough. Each year they have to decide what to do, and it costs a lot of money, and. Um, they can't afford a failure, so it's a it's a really big job, and it's it's you know tremendously brave of them to put themselves up for it. I think. You know. I think there's there's always a risk that it will will close, and one of the big things that you know was the insurance, um, and now it's health and safety. There's lots of regulations coming. Well, the Morris dancers, uh, yeah, which I'm proud to be one, I think I can say, you know. And we now dance, we start at the White Hart, um, where quite a crowd gathers quite early in the morning, and then we go to the um, 
and we go to the square at 12 and we dance for about three quarters of an hour there and then go through to um, the Swan because you get a better view of the front. And we sometimes do a couple of dances there. And then we uh, tag on somewhere generally near the end of the parade and give a little bit of music. Try to be as far away from the big band as possible because it's a bit of unfair competition, you know. <laughs> so, so that would be the floats. All sorts of people would get involved in it. You have the, the Morris men, they would be in the parade and dance in the square, what have you. Because at one time in the village, the scouts had a big uh, pipe and drum band. And you know, they were a big part of the parade, obviously, in those days. Different sorts of uh, um, you know, business ones and friends and family and, and juniors and all this sort of thing. And it's up to the judges to pick who's the best. One year they had a climbing wall and in my full kit I climbed the, managed to climb the climbing wall, you know. I think they did give me a bit of a help by yanking on the rope, but, uh, you know. Another year they have this um, huge monster um, uh, transformer thing which they've got this year, you know. So the village as a whole gets um, very, very involved in it, you know. It, it, it gives the village, it's one of the things that gives the village its identity. And um, it's a very, very communal thing. You know, it's, it's a, a good tradition. You know, the village needs to look after its traditions. And the carnival is one of them. Every year there's something that's just a little bit different, you know. So it's, uh, yeah, it's good. My pleasure.